want to show you something really freaking cool. I bought two of these so I could use them in tandem. One of them is white. No, I didn't get this for free. I actually had to pay for this. Now, this might look familiar. It looks like a flash Q trigger. Well, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> this is the transmitter, except it operates differently. You're actually able to do a power increase. If you actually take a look at the red light back here, I'm actually dialing down the power or dialing up the power. Um, this will let you do HSS on the Fujifilm X100F or just use it in manual mode, obviously so. This is just center pin trip only. Um, now this actually sits in the base of this. I'll show you this in a second. Now, if, now this is something that I wondered about until I got it. And this is made by the same people that make the flash Q triggers. Uh, it has a guide number of 20. So it's about 30% uh, as powerful as, like, say, a Nissan i60. Now, this is the only uh, trigger that I actually recommend uh, for uh, the Fujifilm X100F because it's so tiny. It's the size of a dice cube. They actually sell these in black. I know you're right now. You're going, well, this is white. My other one in black is in the other room. I just uh, grabbed the white one. Wow. I'm actually really impressed. Now, there is a, a function on this to actually turn on the video light. It takes two AA batteries. I would never use the video light function. It also comes with a, uh, a soft felt case. You're actually able to swivel the... Uh, the uh, xenon tube out and actually drop in a filter set that actually comes with this. I personally would not use the filter set. It actually goes underneath the Fresnel right here. You're actually able to use this like this or set it wherever you want or have someone hold it in their hands off camera and take like a headshot like this. So the uh, receiver unit is on the inside of this. Uh, guide number 20 sells for $89. I actually when I ordered this uh, from China I got it in three days. It works marvelously. Um, you can take like uh, group shots up to like five people in total darkness at a distance at uh, one half power of about 20 feet. And really that's 90% of what you would use this for if this fits in your pocket perfectly. You set this anywhere, point it up at whatever you want. It tilts this way, you can set it this way. I have at least 50 speed lights and this thing is, to me, is... Not only darling, it's awesome. I've actually tried to burn this out. Now, they know that I did reviews on the flash cue triggers, and I probably made them a bunch of money on the flash cue triggers, but I still had to pay for this. <laughs> so, um, They told me that if I didn't like it, uh, that uh, they would refund my money on it, and uh, that I could keep it, but I actually have to be honest in that I like it. They said, well, if you don't like it, you've done a bunch of uh, stuff for us. Just do a honest review on it, and if you don't like it, you can keep it, and we'll refund your money on it. It's uh, $89, I believe. I paid 85 because the white one uh, was, uh, for me anyway, it was slightly cheaper as a demo unit. But it's 89 for either the black one or the white one. Obviously, most of you would want the black one. Um, but this, this is perfect. This camera, it's like if I had the one, and the X100F is one of my top four favorite cameras. Everybody loves the little Fujifilm X100F that has it. This is, it's kind of hard to describe. <laughs> it takes a lot, it really takes a lot to impress me. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not shilling for this company. They're not giving me anything. You can also use it like a regular miniature speed light because there's a big button right here at the back. And what that does is it holds this in and then you could just stick it however and I would not use it like that as I've said a thousand times the worst sort of lighting is uh, sitting in the hot shoe of your camera but uh, this is also great for not losing your trigger since it's the size of a dice cube now this runs off of a uh, two AA batteries and this runs off of a tiny watch battery which is sending out like I don't know, like a hundred milliwatt power to the receiver unit on the uh, Q20. Now you're thinking, well, this can't be very powerful, and it's not, but I've already told you, like even in half power, you could do a group shot at um, about 25 feet at half power um, with this, uh, and a crop sensor, this is uh, a 35 millimeter field of view. This is actually a perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect, you know, peanut butter and jelly you know, bread and water, pasta and spaghetti sauce combo for the X100F, but also for the X-T2. 
I'm actually stunned because I've owned, I do own, <laughs> and have owned so many damn speed lights. It's like, oh, you know, another, you know, another xenon tube device. Yeah, okay, whatever. But actually, and I'm familiar with the flash cue triggers because I own three sets of the flash cue triggers. I'm actually really impressed with this. I'm going to be using this on my, like, if you just wanted to go out and, like, uh, go on an event and you had your X-T2 and it's daylight and it started getting dark, I can have this in my pocket, stick the trigger on top of my X-T2, X-Pro2, X-100F, whatever the hell you got. It's compatible with anything. It's just a center pin trip. Okay? There's no TTL or anything else. It's just a center pin, which is just a fire command. Use this on any damn camera, Sony, Nikon, Fuji, yada, yada, yada. <coughs> If I wanted to take a headshot of somebody and get back 15 feet, by the way, you're actually able to get a lot more out of your speed light and this little unit, since it's a low power unit, with the leaf shutter on the X100F. That is why this is peanut butter and jelly times two when you pair the X100F with this little sucker. And I know you would want the black one instead of the white one. I should have brought the black one out. I got the black one and the white one. I got two of these because I thought, well, if I'm going to get this, I want two of them. What I want to use is like one as a main light and one as a fill. That way you can have two of these in your pocket, and you're sitting around there with your X100F strolling, and if you want to take a high-speed sync shot and expose uh, for your ambient, and then illuminate the face of, uh, you know, the person that you're shooting or a pair of people that you're shooting, I can dial up the power on the back of this thing, two buttons, up or down. The uh, actual functions on this particular trigger are different than the flash Q trigger. I mean, it's the exact same looking trigger, but... The button functions here, which are two buttons on the flash Q trigger, function differently on this unit paired with the uh, Q20. You can also pair uh, the frequencies on this. The S1, S2 function, uh, totally unnecessary. It does have a, a uh, modeling, which I would never use. I mean, somebody might. I definitely would not. And not only that, the, the, uh, the output on the modeling is adjustable on the video light. There we go. I'm going to raise the video. That's as powerful as it gets. But considering the fact that it's running off of two AA batteries, I really wouldn't consider this, you know, uh, extremely useful for modeling. But that's okay. But the fact that I can do this with it, I can do this with it, I can, I can sit here. Like if I had someone, like, uh, sitting right here, I could tilt this up at their face. Of course, this would actually be bad uh, under chin lighting. But, uh, you know, something else that I wanted to light from underneath. I can stick a gel filter in here that actually comes with a little soft case and a gel filter. This is, ext I tried to burn this one out. It's like, if I'm going to burn one out, it's going to be the white one. I couldn't burn this one out. I kept popping it at a full blast. And uh, it's actually really well made. I have to say that for the actually 89 bucks that it costs and the fact that it has the radio receiver inside of it and this is a trigger. And that, now, I would not have bought this if I had to like go up and it's like well I, I took a test shot chimp off the back and uh, you know you see if you look at the back of this I'm adjusting the power output right here if I had to actually go up to the flash unit and adjust the freaking power I'd be like no dice no no but I can adjust it right here amazing so anyway, that's it. That's the Flash Q Q20. It took me a while to actually grasp it. There's quite a few buttons on the back of this. It didn't take me that long. It's certainly a lot easier than a Nikon SB900. Let me actually turn this one off. So for $89, it's a deal. Like I said, I, I had to pay for this. Myself, I didn't get it for free. I'm actually surprised that you could actually pair the radio frequencies on this because my white unit, I it, it didn't sync immediately and I read the instructions and I actually paired I paired the both of them. So I'll put the link below for the Q20. That's it. Runs off of two AA batteries. There we go. Simple, lightweight, fits in your pocket. It actually is worth what they're asking for it. I was actually shocked. <laughs> um, when I saw it and the fact that they'd uh, improved it and uh, what it could do, I immediately thought, well, I can adjust the power remotely. It's like, well, I've got tons and tons of speed lights, you know, but this fills a niche that my other speed lights cannot fill. Not only can I not stick them in my pocket, 
You know, I can't use those old speed lights and actually sit there and adjust the freaking power remotely. Can't do it. It's totally radio, totally wireless. Remote power adjustment. I can't do this with it and that with it. You know, it's not going to just sit there like a brick. Which is, you know, this is actually what people have been needing. I've been needing. I wish something like this existed quite some time ago. Don't need that much power. Especially with a leaf shutter camera, you don't need that much power. You don't. So, I could use this with the X100F at up to one four thousandth of a second since it's a leaf shutter too, by the way. So that's it. Perfect for anything. I'm going to be using this with my X-T2 and my X100F, and this is the absolute peanut butter and jelly combo to go with the X100F. This is not a paid or, uh, or uh, sponsored endorsement because I have done reviews on flash cue triggers before, but this is it. <laughs> I'm actually tickled about this. I actually can't remember, other than a studio strobe, which doesn't count, I actually can't remember the last time I was tickled about a speed light. I actually cannot remember the last time I was tickled about a speed light. But I'm actually tickled about this because this will do what my other speed lights won't do. Unfrigging deniable. Thank you so much for watching, and the link for this is below if you're looking on snapping one. And I got mine in three days from Hong Kong, so if you have uh, you buy it through PayPal, you have PayPal security anyway, so it's nothing to worry about. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it, and uh, catch you later. Bye. Bum 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 bum.